All right, guys, this time we'll be investigating the sort function in JavaScript. So let's say that we have items and uh, we would like to add them to certain lists, like a to-do list. And uh, we see that uh, the more items we are adding, they are added uh, at their right place. So the list is uh, at the right order. Let's see how we can uh, code this directly in JavaScript. I've already prepared the code, so let's take a look at it. All right, so first we have our input, our button, and a simple container with a class of to-do lists where we will be adding the items. And actually the script starts here. So first we have an initial array. And this array will be storing our uh, to-dos. It's uh, right now empty. And then we have one helper function, uh, which is uh, called do sort. It accepts uh, a to-do uh, array and uh, it returns uh, a sorted version of this array. So here we're using the sort uh, function. In the function sort, we're comparing two words, uh, letter by letter. Uh, so if uh, the letter of the first word is uh, coming after the letter of the second word. Uh, we are uh, placing the second uh, word uh, in front of the first. Now, that's why uh, we are effectively uh, sorting um, alphabetically um, our words. And here we have a third case where we are having uh, exactly the same words. We don't uh, change the order of those words. Okay, this was our helper function. And here we are adding event listener to the uh, click event uh, to our button. And uh, afterwards we are grabbing uh, what's inside of our input uh, element. And uh, we will place this data inside of our uh, to-do uh, array. So we use the uh, push uh, method. Once this uh, item is inside of the to-do's array, we'll be performing uh, two steps. So before the sort, we'll save a lowercase version of our uh, to-do's. So we're using two lowercase and we are saving them uh, together with their index inside of a new array, which is called mapped. Okay, we are doing this with this temporary mapped array in order there to have the index uh, of the element, so the index of the to-do, and uh, also its uh, lowercase representation. Then we'll be sorting uh, this mapped array and we'll be restoring, based on the saved index, the original uh, to-do list. So that's why we use this uh, second uh, map function here. Uh, we are grabbing, uh, based on the index of elements, their contents from our to-do original list. Okay, so that's the logic we are performing it in two steps. And afterwards, again, we use the map in order to form our to-do list. So we are just uh, grabbing everything inside of the sorted to-dos. So and this last step, and we're wrapping uh, the items inside of LI tag. We are joining everything and uh, we are replacing the to-do list in our HTML. And as a last step, we are just clearing out the value of our input element. So once again, let's recap the logic. We have one additional uh, function for doing the sorting. And uh, the moment we click on the, our element, we're pushing new items into our to-dos array. And we use a helper array where we are storing lowercase versions of our items together with their index in order after the sorting of the items to be able from there to restore uh, the original items with already sorted order. And one more thing, if you have noticed, uh, here where we are using those arrow functions, we are not typing return. Instead of return, we are wrapping everything in those braces. And uh, that's how uh, we achieve this uh, nice syntaxis here. All right. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And if you like the information, you can uh, subscribe to the channel.